How about the dynamic between Robert Kraft and the president? We know that they have a close relationship. Yeah. We know that the president has been very outspoken in criticism about Colin Kaepernick and those that kneel. Could Robert Kraft ever pull the trigger on something like this? Well, there's a couple of things here. I mean, Kraft tries to have it both ways sometimes in, in uh, controversial situations, taken to a, a lesser degree during Deflategate. He came out publicly and shook his fist and said, I've got Tom Brady's back and made it sort of seem like he was going to fight the league. And then they didn't, you know, he, I think I can't remember if it was the owner's meetings or some meeting before the Super Bowl, but uh, he backed down and uh, kind of left Brady sort of hanging on his own there for that whole situation. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's a guy who has a lot of clout in the league, a lot of power. He's got Roger Goodell's ear and he wants to maintain that. And, uh, fighting the power of the NFL really isn't going to do him any favors and, and help him continue to, you know, have that, that power that he has. But it does seem like circumstances have changed. Uh, we still need to sort of find out if, if Goodell wants Kaepernick and is going to allow Kaepernick back into the league and sort of, uh, you know, makes that known to the teams. Uh, I think if he did that, and that is the next step that he has to do here, it wouldn't surprise me if Kraft were the one to step up and say, you know what, let's give this guy a chance in New England. You know, if Bill Belichick were willing to do it as well, uh, because that's a great look for the Patriots. You know, Kraft always likes to say, you know, we're all, we're all Patriots. Well, uh, Kaepernick, uh, in a lot of ways, legitimately is one of those. Uh, and uh, uh, I think uh, I think Kraft recognizes that at this point in time, with the way the winds are blowing, it would be a good look for the Patriots to to have uh, to have him come here.